Hello, Davida here, and I'm back with another video. <coughs> so I wanted to pop on today and show you another um, a painting that I did using satin enamels in my base. I made a big jug of the satin enamels white house paint, not the um, artist loft, uh, what is it called? Artist loft floor acrylics because I don't have any more. And I have a <clears throat> big old gallon of house paint, which is Walmart's Ready Pour. Okay, so this is Walmart's Color Place um, Ready to Use White Satin. So instead of the flow acrylics, this is what I'm going to be using in all of my creations as my white paint. So I used three ounces of float float trawl, two ounces of the white Walmart color place, one ounce of GAC 800, 0.5 ounces of Liquitex and for the satin enamels, which is this here, I use 1.5 ounces. So if you're going to make, I would say enough for a, a larger canvas, you just double those numbers, which is what I had to do in order to fill up my little jug here so I'm not mixing every time I want to do a pour. Um, I also use these tiles, which are regular little kitchen tiles, as a practice because if I'm doing well, let me just show you. So, I did this, and you see how I just didn't add enough paint, or the paint sunk, so I didn't get any reaction. So I adjusted the amount of satin enamels and water. Water is a big part of this particular recipe because you really want your paints thin and you can see the reaction I got once I adjusted the water and the amount of satin enamels I, u I used. Um, let's show you another one I did. So instead of you know, practicing on my canvases. I have these little tiles. I put the paint down in a puddle and I use these to practice on if I'm doing variations of that recipe. So that's just one way that I do. Um, feel free to jump on board and use that particular you know, process as you're practicing and experimenting. So let me show you um, the latest, and this is a 14 by 14 canvas. I used a little bit of the Artist Loft in my base, a separate cup, to give the base a different color. And then for the paint that I use to get the reaction, um, this is Liquitex D3 
deep violet. And I used a blue. I believe um, it was Prussian blue. Yeah. And I already had this mixed up and I just added a little water. And really, you can see it um, really produced a really nice reaction. So, with this particular technique, consistency, consistency is the key. So, I'm going to show you a um, painting that I did. So, that's this one right here. So, stay tuned for the uh, creation video. Thanks.
I really enjoy doing this particular technique because you saw those sales pop up like that. That's when you know you have the right consistency and the right measurement of each ingredient. And just have fun with it. If you have any questions, post them down in the comment section. Um, my recipe and what I use, the paints, will be in the des uh, description box. And as usual, stay blessed, stay safe. See you next four. Bye.